Hello everyone, I hope that you guys are doing well and that you and your families are continuing to stay safe and wise as we are continuing to maneuver and get to the other side of this world event and this infamous moment in history. And I'm gonna to continue to say it, we are getting to the other side of this event and we will be stronger and wiser than we were when we went in. And what the enemy has meant for evil for us is going to turn out for our good. We're gonna be so much more better for this. And because this thing came than we were before it started, so just keep going. We are going to get to the other side of it, all right? So hey, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments below where you're watching and where your state or your nation is as far as reopening goes, because I know that it varies from state to state from country to country and I'm just really interested to see where the world is and where other states are as far as that goes. So I came on here because I wanted to give you a message, a message that I believe is really important and if you will take this to heart and consider it, it will really do good for you if you'll listen to what it is I'm about to say. Now, if it doesn't bear witness with you, if you don't agree with it, if it doesn't ring true to your own heart, your own spirit, feel free to toss it. But I felt so strong about it today all day long that I knew I had to stop what I was doing and interrupt my normal schedule of things to give you this piece of information. And it's going to be so simple. Here it is. I don't, I, uh, let me not say it that way. I start to say I don't care. And I really don't mean that. I actually do care. It matters to me that many of you are going through very hard, difficult, challenging situations and setbacks and obstacles, whether you dealt with the loss of a loved one or the loss of a job, being furloughed, having to be a stay-at-home mom, which I can't even imagine what that is like. God bless each and every one of you moms and each and every one of you, you parents, because Jesus knows he knew that was not my calling, hence why I go without children to today, thank the Lord. And I know that life is hard. Life is hard, period. And life is a thousand times harder when you put a worldwide pandemic in the mix. So I am not here to make light of the situations and circumstances that you're going through. But in light of what I'm about to say to you today, I want you to know that what I'm saying to you, if you will open your heart and if it resonates with you, will apply to you regardless of what you are looking at and facing and staring at and having to stand down in your life right now if you will open your heart and if you will take it to heart and if you will consider it. But before we get into that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to this channel. It would just really bless me. Also, share this video with someone if you know that this video can help or be a blessing to them in some way or just a very interesting point of conversation and you think I'm a super weird dude and you're like, hey, check out this weird this weird black guy with the, all the glasses and stuff. That works out too. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you get out of the content, what you're thinking about the content, what content you would like me to start producing. I welcome it all as long as you do it respectfully because here in this tribe, you're going to be respectful, you're going to leave because that's I'm, I'm not on it. Not I'm not the one. I'll leave a respectful comment, even if it's, if it's a disagreeing one or a question or an inquiry, and I will be glad to interact with you and connect with you that way. Click the bell button once you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you are notified as soon as I have new videos coming out, okay? Please and thank you. Now, regardless of the situations you may be facing in your life right now that are real, not here to discredit it, not here to make light of them, not here to say they don't exist and not here to roll my eyes and say you need to be stronger because life is hard and the situations that you are facing are real. But here's what I'm here to say to you. What I'm about to present to you and the message I'm getting ready to give to you right now is totally not pertinent and does ha doesn't have anything to do with what you're going through right now. And the things that you are experiencing in your life right now does not disqualify you from what I'm about to say, okay? Here it is. For you, if you are watching this right now, there is getting ready to break out and break open in your life and for your life a series, I believe, not, not just one, but a series of divine opportunities. Opportunities that if you see them, if you recognize them, if you move on them, and if you respond to those opportunities correctly and appropriately, these opportunities that I believe are getting ready to find your life is going to and has the potential to change the trajectory of your life for the better. We all know what opportunities are. And let me tell you something. All it takes is one opportunity, one shot, one connection, 
being at the right place, at the right time, at the right moment, the right person seeing you, that takes a liking to you, the one person looking at your content, the one person coming by your business, the one person that strikes up a relationship with your husband or with your spouse or with your child. It only takes one event to absolutely change the trajectory of your life and set you on the course that you know you want to go and the course you want to see your family's trajectory go. And that is what I am thoroughly, extremely convinced is on its way to you. Opportunities that, I'm gonna say it again, opportunities that if you recognize them, if you see them for what they are, if you are paying attention and if you respond accordingly and properly and appropriately to these opportunities that are going to start presenting themselves to you, your life is going to change drastically. Don't get it twisted. And do not allow this pandemic shenanigans that has been released on the earth distract you from the fact and deter you from the fact that you have a destiny. And there are a series of events in the works right now. I believe this with every fiber of my being and with to the very marrow of my bones. I need you to hear me. Don't have to believe me. Uh, you don't have to believe it. I Just let me believe for you. That is how convinced I am of this thing, right? You can tell that I'm really passionate about this. If you are listening, if you are opening your heart and receptive enough to just let me believe it for you, there are opportunities, more than one, a series of opportunities that are getting ready to break loose on your life that if you will pay attention, recognize them for what they are, respond to them accordingly and appropriately and correctly, is going to change your life for the better. And you're going to have testimonies. And when you get those testimonies, I want you to share them with me at dmjr.org or you can just leave it down in the comments of this video. That's how convinced I am that this is going to happen for you. Having said that, here is my concern, okay? Because I am not a master at anything, okay? I am not a master. I am not a guru. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I am a dude endeavoring to figure out life with Holy Ghost just like you. I am literally a lifelong student. But what I can accredit and what I can say about myself is I endeavor to be a lifelong student of patterns. And here's what I know. Here's what I am learning every day and coming to learn and have learned. Whenever God has a setup for you, Satan always has a counterattack that usually comes and always comes before the huge breakout or the huge release that God's getting ready to bring into your life. What does that mean? Layman's terms. Before God does something extraordinary in your life, Satan comes in to do something extraordinary in your life, against your life, to try to move you and derail you off of the path that you're supposed to be on. Or if he can't derail you, he can do something just as deadly, just as lethal that I am very concerned about in particular for you if you are watching this right now. Let me, let's, let's, let's start over. There is getting ready to break out onto your life and there's getting ready to you are getting ready to come into contact better way of saying it you are getting ready to come into contact with divine opportunities connections relationships contrast relationships it can come in a myriad of different ways and facets you are getting ready to come into contact with opportunities that if you recognize them and respond to them appropriately and properly, it will change the trajectory of your life. The number one enemy that's going to stand between you and those opportunities and you responding to those opportunities correctly is distraction. My concern for you, which is coming as a warning. So here's my, because I know what I, with every fiber of my being, I believe this is coming. My concern for you is, is that if you are not taking the time to get still, if you are not taking the time to get quiet, if you are not taking the time to pray, to meditate, to get in the scriptures, if you are not taking the time every day, and it doesn't have to be seven hours, 
If you have seven hours to spend in prayer, God bless your ever-loving soul. And please do it for the rest of us that really don't have that kind of time. I don't know about you, but ever since, since this whole pandemic, quarantine, shenanigans, my schedule has gotten more packed and not less packed, if you know what I mean. If you know that's true, leave me a comment down below to say, yeah, me too. My life is just as packed, more packed now than it was before this whole thing started. So I don't have seven hours to pray, meditate, journal, get quiet. I don't have seven hours. I have never had, well, there was a time in, in my life where I did have seven hours. I did spend six, six or seven hours, eight hours in prayer. That is not the season I'm in right now. And that is not the season most of you are in right now, but you can fi find five minutes. Take the five minutes you're using to scroll on the ground, okay? Take the five minutes that you are using scrolling aimlessly through TikTok and watching the same Netflix series over and over and over again and attaching yourself to characters and figures that do not exist, that you pull away from after four, five, six, seven, eight hours of watching these series, binge watching them, you come away with absolutely nothing without, but having spent and invested emotional energy into people, characters, fantasies, and worlds that don't exist. Nothing wrong with it. I have done the same. I just don't have time to do the same right now, but I have done that, so no heat, no judgment. What I'm saying to you is that if the, the idea, the notion of you being able to see a drastic change in your life sounds anything, sounds remotely appealing to you, I'm imploring you you have got to take five minutes to be quiet and be with you and be with God in whatever form that looks like for you. If it's one scripture that you read on purpose, do it. If it's spending time journaling, do it. If it's spending time just in the quiet or with some very low music playing, do it. If it's five minutes praying, here's, a, here's something I learned from Iyanla Van Zant a couple of days ago. Phenomenal. She she told me who she got it from. It's from a book. I really should have, I didn't know that I was going to tell you all this, but here we are. So I'm going to send you, put the link in the description below so that you can get it because it was really good. And she was talking about how to pray and giving instructions on how to pray. And this this outline, if you follow this outline, you can pray and 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 put up a prayer in like 30 seconds flat while you're going about your day. And it's called Acts Praying. A-C-T-S. A-C-T-S. And here's how you do it. You acknowledge God, which is A. You confess. Confess your shortcomings, your sins. Confess a, a confession of faith or an affirmation. So you acknowledge God. You confess sin, shortcomings, weaknesses. Uh, you confess and acknowledge uh, strengths. What you confess affirmations. That's C. T is you offer thanksgiving. You offer thanksgiving and gratitude to God. And then S is supplicate. You acknowledge God, you confess your sins and affirmations, you offer thanksgiving and gratitude, and you present your supplication, your prayer, your request, okay? You can literally do that in 30 seconds flat. I need you to do something because the opportunities that are getting ready to cross paths with you and that you're getting ready to cross paths with are not gonna be obvious to you. These opportunities are going to come wrapped in some very interesting disguises. Here's the thing about great opportunities. Nobody knows how great Disney is gonna be until Disney becomes the empire that it is. You know how many people rejected the idea of Disney World before Disney World became the Disney World that we, and me especially, have come to love with every fiber of our beings? You know how many people passed up the opportunity to invest in Disney? And here's an interesting thing too. Even Walt Disney himself, when the creator of the Peanuts, Charlie Brown and whatnot, presented his idea to Walt Disney, he even passed that down. And he was used to being rejected and seeing the potential and what God had given him, but he couldn't do it for somebody else. Nobody in the natural recognizes things to be as significant as they are until it becomes as significant as it is. I'm not going to repeat that again because I'm not sure that I could actually do it. Here's the thing. Most opportunities worth their salt don't come and present themselves to you out in the open and saying, hey, here I am. That is not how opportunities come.
overcome. Diamonds are not formed on top of the ground. And diamonds worth buying and worth getting and worth wearing are not found on top of the ground. The diamonds you want are worth, have to be excavated. So there has to be work, effort, intentionality put into finding them in order for you to get them. The opportunities that you are getting ready to come across and cross paths with, they're not going to be obvious to you. The only way you're going to recognize these opportunities for what they are is if you spend time with God in quiet, in meditation, so that you can be sensitive enough and confident enough both in the voice of God and in your ability to hear him so that you can respond to these opportunities when they come. That's all I had to say today. So grateful that you were able to join me today. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you got out of the content. If you have any questions or disagreements or you don't agree, I welcome it all as long as it's done in a respectful manner. Share this video with someone that you know could really use this information or if it's just a great to uh, topic or subject starter, that's cool too. Be sure to click the bell button so you know when I have new videos coming out and remember to continue living your life learning.